Today we are looking at Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 20, and it's talking about the parable of the sower. And uh, maybe this is a parable you're familiar with, but this is a parable I've grown up hearing over and over, and yet I hadn't quite stood still to really think about it. So when I was calling my dad this weekend, I asked him for some tips or maybe some pointers to think about and to share maybe. And he was talking about how this is often a parable used to help explain evangelism, that we go out, share the good news with lots of different people, and some people will receive it and bear fruit and others will reject it and just won't. And you just kind of have to accept it as is. But then he took it a step further and he was talking about soil three and four and how soil three is potentially the most dangerous soil for us to fall in. So I quickly want to read verses 18 to 20. And others are the ones sown among thorns. They are those who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the deceitfulness of the riches and the desires for other things enter in and choke the world, and it proves unfruitful. So that was soil three. And then it goes on saying, but those that were sown in good soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. And that's soil four. And soil three is so easy for us to fall into. Like we hear the word, we accept it, but then we just get really busy and we just have different priorities. And that's why this one is just so dangerous. And maybe I just want to ask you today, like, how can we be soil four and how can we be fruitful? 